and the the young colleague in the back. Well, thanks for the compliment. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully these aren't as tough as bring your kids to work day questions. At my school, we, we recently had a lockdown zone. One thing that, that affects mine and other students' mental health is to worry about, about the fact that we or our friends could get shot at school. Specifically, can you tell me what the administration has done and will do to prevent these senseless tragedies? I think that uh, as a kid and certainly as a parent, there is nothing that could be more terrifying for a kid to go to school and not feel safe. So I'm sorry that you feel that way. Uh, this administration takes it seriously. And the school safety commission that the president convened is meeting this week, again, an official meeting uh, to discuss the best ways forward and how we can do every single thing within our power to protect kids in our schools and to make them feel safe and make their parents feel good about dropping them off. Amen. Dana, uh, you're a mom. Sarah Sanders is a mom uh, of three. When that child in the back, asked that question, and I w it was hard to hear, but you got the sense of the question regarding school shootings and how is the White House keeping me safe? The, that moment of humanity mm -hmm. in that briefing, in Sarah Sanders having a tough time keeping it together, mm -hmm. answering him. Yeah, I mean, it looked like it was going to potentially be a lighthearted moment going to, uh, to a young reporter, and he had the toughest question in the room. Uh, because of who he is. He is a young person who said, basically, I'm scared to go to school because I'm, I don't want to get shot. And that's what, what my friends feel. And, you know, Sarah Sanders is, you know, is, as he said, a mom of three. And I, I can't imagine instead of having to take that question uh, from a young person who is expressing the fear that, frankly, young people around the country are feeling every single day, unfortunately, going to do the most basic thing, going to school. Now, obviously, um, there are, are and should be criticisms of the inaction of this administration, of this Congress, that allows uh, a young person to, uh, to, to, to feel that way. But in that moment, for those 30 seconds, uh, it was just a young kid and, and, a, and a person who was trying to to, to walk that line between yep. being a representative of a, 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 an administration that has had no action and somebody who sends her kids to school every day. Yep. And Brooke, the yeah, other thing in that moment I yeah. thought was yeah. you understand the political power of the Parkland kids and the movement they started. Yeah. That there is, um, it, you can see because of the way Sarah Huckabee Sanders from that podium sort of completely broke down the sort of artifice of the back and forth with reporters. It's a bit of a kabuki dance in Washington. Uh, and, and was in this moment and responding emotionally to this kid. That, because he's representative of a student community, uh, I thought we also got an example there of why we've seen uh, such political power in that uh, Parkland yeah. movement.